here in my garage. Just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. It's fun to drive up here in the Hollywood Hills. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. So as you know, the red pill, in my honest opinion, it's not about really helping men anymore. I don't think that's what it's about. It may have started like that, but it is no longer like that. The red pill is about, let's just be honest, money and making a lot of it, all right? And it doesn't matter at what cost. It's the industry. I remember when, when ladies was coming into the industry, people were uh, complaining about that. And then of course, what you get in the industry or in the sector are scammers. Now, to be honest, this happens more or less in the white manosphere community or the proper manosphere community, not necessarily in the black manosphere. You don't see a whole lot of courses. Um, there's a lot more accountability. Black men typically won't go for stuff like that. But, you know, the, the, the white guys and some of the, you know, the honorary white guys, as Obsidian puts it, the Asians and, and, and those people, some of the blacks over there, there's a lot of guys who try to, um, like I said, get that money quickly. And none of them are as thirsty as Fresh and Fit. Andrew Tate is the worst. Fresh and Fit is second, all right? And these guys are talking about they want to help men all the time, which is what they're talking about. They have courses, consultations, they have a podcast. Some of the content I can say is okay, but there's some corruption on the platform. Recently, they had this guy, Ty Lopez, all right? And if you guys don't know who Ty Lopez is, He's a known alleged scammer on the internet. One of the worst guys ever to do internet scams. Okay. He's terrible from what they said. And it's not only me that's saying it. Let me play this video. Then you hear it. December of 2022, I was approached by an investor in Ty's business who gave me access to a WhatsApp group composed of over 50 investors of Ty's company who all feel scammed and are currently in negotiations to try and recover what's left of their nearly $120 million investment. Ty and the company's co-founders have been ignoring these investors for months, and their company is now on the brink of bankruptcy. The situation has gotten so bad that many of these investors now feel a lawsuit is the only answer they have left to get back the remainder of their money. The investors I talked to were unwilling to do an on-camera interview in fear of repercussions from Ty and his team, but just in the last few days, CoffeeZilla joined the group, and hopefully with his more established name, he can convince many of these investors to publicly speak about his scandal in the future. Now, to fully break down just what is going on, we have to go back to 2019, because that was the year that Ty Lopez co-founded the company Retail E-Commerce Ventures with another millionaire named Alex Meyer, who made millions selling his dating company, Zeusk, a few years prior. So now I wanna to turn to Duke and Don, and I want you to hear what the brother Duke and Don has to say right so ty lopez is in the news again and for those of you guys who aren't who are who aren't familiar with ty lopez you're like who <laughs> who is this nigga? i'm gonna tell you right now he is a very big deal matter of fact some can say he is the whole reason this entire massive wave of red pill at least the style of red pill the way they market it with the course selling and all these different things like that right that all came from him. He is basically the granddaddy before Rolo Tomasi. It is Ty Lopez, all right? And what's even crazier is Ty Lopez used to be in the red pill, but a lot of people didn't know that, right? And by red pill, I mean in terms of, like, uh, starting scam dating companies <laughs> and defrauding men on, on that and building his empire before going into the social media marketing game. Uh, that's Ty Lopez, all right? So he is the OG when it comes to scamming and social media marketing that has ever been out there, okay? And uh, for those of you guys, you know, that didn't know before, and now you did. Now, for those of you guys who are like, okay, I know who Ty Lopez is. He, he's one of those uh, internet guru marketers. So what, what, what's going on? Why? I thought he was, I thought he was, I thought his career was done. <laughs> I thought he was over with. I thought he flopped. I thought he was, he was out of here because, you know, all these newer scammers coming in and using his model and taking over the game, we thought he was washed up. Why, why are we even talking about Ty Lopez? It's because, listen, where the other washed up uh, uh, scammers go? when uh, they have nowhere else on YouTube to, uh, <laughs> to, to to really get some shine, right? Well, you first grift into the red pill, all right? And then you find fresh and fit. 
<laughs> that that is the only way your career would get a second win. So these guys are good for something. They are good for helping people who shouldn't, you know, have careers, or we should just probably let their careers just die as naturally as it did. All right, they don't deserve a revival. But yeah, Ty Lopez is one of those guys. So over over ten years, this guy has been shilling internet marketing scams for. For, for 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 a while and a lot of people bought into it right one of the most famous one that actually blew him up was the here in my garage right here you see this lamborghini all right i read a book a day <laughs> I'm like come on bro he's like I, I, look at this lamborghini but also check out this little wall of libraries that i have or, or, or books that i have in my uh garage slash library which is like huh <laughs> what but no matter what it was very successful why because at that point ty lopez was hitting on something that a lot of men were craving for all right instant access to wealth that you know it, it comes easy right so now let me let me discuss this all right i want to discuss this because it's very very important for me to discuss this these guys all the time are talking about how they're helping guys yet you bring a scammer to your platform i, I don't even need to know if they're holding a guy accountable there the fact that ty lopez is there means that some of the guys are going to go from Ty, your channel, check out Ty Lopez, buy a course, buy a course. And you know what happens? They're going to get scammed. Want to know who you can think of that? Fresh and fit. All these guys in the red pill, for the most part, again, I see it in the manners for a proper. It's a big con artist community, a big scammer community. And don't get me wrong. It happens in other communities. It happens in the pro black sector too. I've seen it happen there, but these guys, it's ridiculous. A guy with the reputation as, as Ty Lopez, he should never, never be on the platform. And he's so he's so like delusional and shady that now he's trying to come into the red, red pill. And it's ridiculous because how do you even do that? How? How can you even consider that? But again, this is, you know, hey, um, we love our men. We want to help our men ain't about money. Then you bring a guy who's accused of stealing millions of dollars millions then guys will come on oh shay you're hating you're jealous bro listen i have never first of all you can't pay me to come to my platform you just can't all right i i, I barely will consult or talk to anybody for free but a scammer a known scammer a known con artist people who steal money from folks investors never automatically no go i've never been accused of that never i've never even sold a course Barely have a Patreon, which I need to put a video over there, but never even sold a course. Guys, never at all. Haven't even considered it. People have asked me all the time, could you make a course? And it doesn't mean you're a scammer because you have a course, but I don't even want to do that because I don't even want people to say, well, you know what? You're scamming. Don't even say that. Don't even say that. All these guys who are scamming in real estate, digital ads, all these guys, they have these guys on the platform and guess who's going to buy from them? Men. You think that Ty Lopez is there for no reason? I guarantee you even Ty Lopez paid to get on there. Yeah. Go on Fresh and Fit, you get paid $20,000 to go on there. Sure. You're going to have a bunch of idiots on there spending money with you. It's worth the investment. Only fans models go to only uh to Fresh and Fit. Why? It's a good investment. It's a good investment. And Ty Lopez, good investment. Why not? Why not spend the money? So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk. Preach you for all you do, subscribe to the bell. We're out.